Hi, this is problem 16 from the 2021 AMC 10A. The graph of f of x is equal to this mess is symmetric about which of the following, where this denotes the floor function of x. Oh boy, this looks complicated. We have uh, floor functions nested inside of absolute value signs. So this is too complicated for my brain. So I'm going to have to take a step back and look at something a little bit simpler. Now, I know the floor function of x roughly follows the behavior of x. So let me look at something a little bit simpler. Let me look at uh, f of x is equal to absolute x minus 1 minus x to look for clues on how I could solve the original problem. So uh, let me draw a quick set of axes to help us with this. All right, so uh, absolute x, I think I know what that looks like. That looks something like that. Uh, 1 minus x absolute minus sign, so the minus sign will flip this function. 1 minus x will shift it over to the right, so minus absolute 1 minus x will look something like this. And I'm going to try to add these two functions together to form this trial function f of x. So in this region here, these two curves will always add to minus 1. In this region here, these two curves will always add to plus 1. And we're going to get a transition in the region from x equals 0 to x equals 1. So that's what uh, f of x looks like, this little trial function. And if I were to guess right now which of these symmetries exist, I would have to say it might be d. And let's see if we can make that a little more certain. Now one thing I know about the uh, floor function is that it doesn't change x when x is an integer. So this is an approximation for all real x, but when x is an integer, this is an exact replica of what the original f of x looks like. So what I know then is that this trial function of f of x is accurate for the original f of x for all the integer points. And what that means is that the symmetry of just these integer points may be able to uh, eliminate some of the choices in the question. So let's take a look at that. So just looking at these uh, integer points that we know are accurate, we know that that does not satisfy symmetry about the y-axis. So we know a cannot be the correct answer. It doesn't satisfy symmetry about the line x equals 1, so that can't be the correct answer. It's not symmetric about the origin, so that can't be the correct answer. And it doesn't satisfy symmetry about the point 1, 0, so that can't be the correct answer. And we do notice that it does satisfy symmetry about the point 1 half 0. So that, in fact, is the correct answer for choice D.